Welcome to Robot in 3 Days at Penn State's Mechanism Showcase. I'm Erin and I'll be talking about the donut climb. So when talking about the deep cage, the center of gravity of the combined body of the robot and cage will swing directly below the chain anchor. This means that either when you climb, you need to go really high or lift from the center of gravity of the robot. To lift, we decided to lift from the center of gravity and do a donut climb, which basically means we have a big hole in the center of the robot, hence donut climb. Now, to solve this, we needed a way to lift the robot. There's many ways this could be done, but we decided on these hooks. Now, originally, we had intended on the curved surface coming down here and acting as a cam to lift the robot and being the hook being tangent to the robot providing a normal force. However, the hooks created such a friction force that jammed the cage into right here on the robot. To solve this, we added the roller bearing, which eliminates the frictional force while lifting and maintains the normal force. So we also found that the cage tended to go this way. So we added this additional plate also in here. And then when the robot finishes the climb, we wanted a way for the frictional force to come back to keep it up. So we added these brackets that as it goes down, it sits on the brackets and then the force is then transferred here. This is done all attached with NEOs and a 225 to one gear ratio. However, that may be different for you if you do this. The funnel shape we have, which is this polycarbonate piece, is to allow as the robot drives up to the cage, it will swing into here and settle itself in this corner. However, this is not as reliable as it could be. So if you make this design, we recommend that you should design a different funnel. And take note that there is significant force on this when it climbs. We solve this by adding a lot of braces around it. However, there is many ways that you could do this. We also needed a ballast of 30 pounds here, and you will see this in our reveal video. We had to have these weights here, and it may be different for you, and this is just because our center of gravity ended up being off from where it actually climbs. And with this, our robot does achieve three inches off the ground, and it does suspend all the wheels. Thank you for following along with our process of Robot in Three Days at Penn State. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. We would love to answer them.